So today's video is about UPGMA method and how we can solve it. So first of all, this method is a distance-based method for building a phylogenetic tree. UPGMA is a clustering algorithm commonly used in bioinformatics and computational biology to create a phylogenetic tree based on sequence similarity or genetic distances. For input, we have a distance matrix showing a pairwise distances between sequences or species or taxa. So our first step is to find the closest clusters. Is that we will group two sequences with each other which has smaller distance between them. Build a new distance matrix with those two sequences merged together as a cluster. We will keep on doing this until we have grouped all the sequences which with each other into a phylogenetic tree. So for input, let's say we have sequences A, B, C, D, E and F. So we will write the names of these sequences in the x-axis and similarly in the y-axis. After writing them, what we are going to do, we will take the first sequences which is A and we will compare it with all the sequences that we have. So when we will compare A with itself, we will see that it is 100% matching. So we have no differences between them. So we will write 0 here. So you can say the mismatches we have between two sequences are the distance between those two sequences. So when we will compare sequence A with itself, we will have no mismatches, so we'll write zero here. Similarly, when we will compare sequence A with sequence B, you can see over here, sequence A is very similar to sequence B, but only in one place we have G instead of a C. So we have only one mismatch, so we write one over here. So we will keep on doing this. We will compare A with C. We get three mismatches. So we will write three here. Similarly, we will compare A with D, A with E, and A with F. When we are done with this, we will move on to the next sequence, which is B. We will compare B with A. Now, as you can see here, when we are comparing B with A, it is synonymous to comparing A with B. So we will get the same number. We will get one over here. Then you will compare B with itself. As you can see here, B is compared to B. And you will get 100% match, so we will write 0 here. No mismatches between them. When you are done doing this with all of the sequences with each other, you will get a table which will look like this. In this table, you can see in the diagonal line, we have zeros. And the two parts of this table, when we divide it from the diagonal, you can see these are mirror images of each other. For each mismatch or you can say distance here, let's say when we compare E with B, you can find same thing over here. When you compare B with E. So anything that you want to find, any distance between two sequences, you can either get them from this image or you can get from this mirror image. So in some tests, they will not give you the sequences that are written on this part. Only the highlighted portion will be given. And you have to remember that these two are mirror images of each other. And this is very irrelevant. Similarly, first, sometimes they don't write the first line and the last line over here. You can find, let's say you want to find F compared with A. You can find that over here too. A is compared with F and it's the same number. F compared to A is equal to A compared to F. So they will skip this line, this line over here. They will not write the diagonal and they will not write this the mirror image. So this is very symmetric matrix and the diagonal entries are zero and distance of any taxon from itself is also zero. The numbers are actually mismatches, the numbers that are written in this distant matrix each sequence has with the other sequence. And after building this distance matrix, the next step that we are going to do is we are going to choose the value that is smallest of them all. As you can see in this matrix, we are going to ignore the zeros. And the smallest values that we have are either this one over here or this one over here. Now it's your choice. You choose whichever one. Uh, let's say I choose A and B first. So... I have uh, chosen the smallest distance and now what I'm going to do, I will divide this one over here with 2 
because it corresponds to two taxons A and B. When I will divide it by two, I will get 0 0.5 and I will write them like this over here. And I will write 0 0.5 on one branch and similarly 0 0.5 on the second branch. You can say that the node over here, the node we have over here, it is equal to one. And the branches are 0 0.5 and 0 0.5. Similarly, when I'm done with this, I will cluster them together. I will write A with B next time when I'm drawing the distance matrix. So my next distance matrix is going to look like this. I have clustered A with B. Similarly, on this side, I have written A with B. And all of the rest of the sequences are written as they were in the first distance matrix. Now, again, I will look for the smallest value. What's the smallest value in this matrix? We have one. So now I will cluster D with E. I will divide one by two and I'll get 0 0.5 and 0 0.5. And D and E are clustered together. A e and B are clustered together. Okay, so when I am comparing A, B with A, B itself, I will get zero. But when I'm comparing A, B with C, how did I get the number three over here? So for this, you're going to need the first distance matrix that you have. To compare A, B with C, you're first going to compare A with C and then B with C. So you will compare A, C, then you will add it with B, C, and then you will divide it the number of entries that you have in the numerator. So in the numerator, we have two entries. So we'll divide it by two over here. So what is A, C? You can see in this matrix over here, AC is 3. We wrote 3 over here. Similarly, BC is 3 also. So I wrote 3 over here. Then I will add them together. Remember, UPGMA is an arithmetic method. I will add 3 plus 3. It's equal to 6 divided by 2. And I get 3. So I wrote when I compare AB cluster with C sequence, I get 3. In this way, you're going to compare A, B with all of the sequences here. You're going to compare A, B with itself. You will get, when you compare A with A, it's going to be 0. B with B, it's going to be 0. Okay? And then you will divide by 2, you're going to get 0. Okay? That's how you got a 0 over here. You don't have to do that. You just know when you compare a cluster with itself, you're always going to get 0. So you compare A, B with all of the sequences over here, just like we compared A, B with C, and you're going to get these numbers. Similarly, when you compare C with D, you can write it from over here. You compare C with D over here, 5. Similarly, write your 5 over here, okay? When you are done with that, you are going to get something that looks like this. Okay? A, B is compared with C. Also, you cluster D and E together when we wrote this over here. So we are comparing D, E with A, B, D, E with C, D, E with D, E itself, which is 0, D, E with F. One other thing I told you, whenever you are clustering two sequences together, the number you get, you divide it by 2. And the numbers you get, you write it on the branches, 0 0.5 and 0 0.5. Let's say if it were 10 over here, we will divide 10 by 2 and we'll write 5 on each of these two branches. So we are comparing DE with all of the sequences. Now again, we are going to choose the smallest value that is in this distance matrix. We get 3. So now we are going to cluster A, B with C. We, we, we already had written A, B together. All we have to do is write C over here and join them together through this line. Now you have 3 over here. You will divide 3 by 2 again because you are comparing two taxons which you will divide 3 by 2. When you divide 3 by 2, you get 1.5. So we have written 1.5 over here. Now remember, this line over here is also 1.5. As we had already written 0 0.5 over here, we will divide, we will minus 0 0.5 from 1 and we will write 1 over here. So this line is 1.5 and this line is 2, 1.5. We wrote 1 over here because 0 0.5 was already written. That way we have clustered A, B with C corresponding to 3 over here. Which means the node over here is 3. Okay.
Now we will build the next distance matrix with clustering A, B and C together, which will look like this A, B, C and we have written A, B, C. D, E is written as it were. When we compared A, B, C with itself, we got zero. A, B, C when compared with D, E, we got six. How did we got six? Let's see. So for comparing A, B and C with with DE, what you're gonna do is you're gonna compare A, B and C first with D and then with E and you're gonna add them together. So you're gonna get AD plus BD plus CD. Then you're gonna again do that. AE plus BE plus CE. Now how many entries you have over here? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. You're gonna divide it by 6. When you you can write all of the values over here. So AD is, you can see over here, AD is 6. You wrote 6 over here. Similarly, what was BE? Like BE was 7. You wrote over here, okay? Similarly, let's say, what is EC, okay? Or you can say what is CE. So it is similar. You can say EC over here is 6. You wrote 6 over here. You divide by 6 and you get 6. So we wrote ABC. When compared with cluster DE, we get 6. So you're going to do that. You're going to compare ABC with DE. You compared ABC with F. So how are you going to do that? You're going to compare A with F, B with F, C with F, and you will divide it by 3. You will get 9.5. Now the smallest value in this distance matrix is 6. So we will divide 6 by 2. We will get 3. So you can see we have already written 0 0.5 over here. If we minus 0 0.5 from 3, we'll get 2.5. Similarly, on this side, we had already written 0 0.5 and 1. If we'll minus 0 0.5 and 1 from 3, we'll get this over here. So we clustered A, B, C with D, E over here and we joined them together. And the node over here is 6 which corresponds to this value. Now, for the next distant matrix, we are going to cluster A, B, C, and D. We will write them here, and we and only F is left, so we wrote F on both sides. And when we compare A, B, C, D, E with F, we will get 8.5. What you're going to do is A, F, B, F, C, F, D, F, E, F, divided by 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. You're going to have 5 entries. In the numerator, you're going to divide by 5. You'll get 8.5. Now, we had built this tree already, okay? When you will divide 8.5 with 2, you will get 4.25. So, we wrote 4.25 for this line over here all the way to the end. Similarly, this line over here till over here is also 4.25. We will subtract all the previous entries from 4.25 and what we will get is 1.25. In this way, you have clustered all of the taxons with each other and you can see you have applied UPGMA method for building a phylogenetic tree. Now in this tree, you can see A and B are closely related with, you, with each other. Similarly, D and E are closely related. A and B are closely related with C and ABC are closely related to DE. Similarly, A, B, C, and D, E as a cluster are closely related to F. So this is where you have the ancestral node and all the way to the A, B, C, D, F, all the taxons are joined together in a phylogenetic tree. And now you can tell which sequence. So like and subscribe or share my video with your friends. Thank you.